Okay, so in this bonus lesson, I wanna go over proxies. A lot of people don't know what they are, especially if you're new to editing, um, but they're a very common part of the production process or the post-production process. Um, simply put, a proxy is taking your big or camera original file, making a smaller uh, copy of it, so that when you edit on your computer, that which may be slower, it plays back smoothly. You can edit with no problems. There's no delay of any kind. And then when you're finished with your project, you export. Resolve automatically will select the full quality files. And then you have the best of both worlds. You can shoot in 4K. You can edit in a lower quality just to edit smoothly and quickly. And then when you export at the end, you have your 4K files again. So it's win-win, you get you know, all the quality your camera can, you can do, because a lot of people spend a lot of money on a camera, their computer's too slow, and then they shoot at a much lower resolution that their camera can actually do because their computer's too slow and they basically wasted all that money. So enough talk, let's jump into the next lesson where I'll show you this proxy workflow and you'll be shocked how easy it is. So let's jump right over. Okay, so in this bonus lesson, I am just gonna cover the proxy generator workflow. So again, proxies are needed whenever your computer is too slow and can't play back footage, or maybe your hard drives are too slow too. And let's say you have you know, a clip, for example, here that I dropped in. This is a clip. If I go here, you'll see the specs. It's a 5K clip shot on the red. So, you know, it may be a bit too much for this computer to handle and this hard drive to handle. If I go through and play back, you'll see that it's very choppy and slow. Very choppy, very, it almost seems like it kind of jump cuts or something at some points. Very choppy. So, what, how would you fix that, okay? If your system cannot play back footage like this, or it may just be that, you know, you have an older machine and you might not be working with red footage, it may be that maybe your computer just can't even handle you know, 4K footage from whatever camera you're shooting on. So Resolve has a function, a workflow that's uh, a proxy workflow, and the way you would do that is you would first you know, open, they have a program that comes with it called Blackmagic Proxy Generator. And so if I open this program up, this program basically transcodes everything to these formats that are much easier for a system to, ha to handle. So the default you can see is H.264, 8-bit, 420, 1080p. Don't worry if you don't know what all that means. That basically just means that it's going to be lower quality, something that's very manageable for your system. You know, if you have a very slow system, you might have to go to something even lower, but that tends to be good for most systems. It's very easy. All you simply do is you add your folder with your media down here, or maybe if it's just a handful of clips, you add those down here and you start the process. And kind of like magic, Resolve knows what's going on. It knows you know, that you have a full quality file and that you created proxies and it automatically will place those and swap them out. And if you remember earlier in the class, I mentioned that we would go over what this is here with all the different proxy functions. That's where this comes into play and you select what you prefer proxies or prefer camera originals. So let's do that very quickly for this one shot, okay? So I'm gonna switch over to here and I'm going to add a file. Okay, so there we go. I added that clip there. It's in this folder. And again, it's just for the car clip there. So all you do is you say, you know, you can either add an entire folder with media or you can add specific clips and you hit the start button it then goes through and creates proxies for that media that's really bogging down your system and the files end up being very very small and then once it's done it says complete okay so now I can close down the black magic proxy generator and notice what I don't know if you saw that but notice that you know things kind of switch now there's this little icon in the bottom left telling you that you are using a proxy and because the default selection here is prefer proxies, then, you know, now if I scroll th back and try to play through that, see the difference? Much smoother. And I'll even go back to full screen. Plays back much smoother. 
and the files are much smaller and now pretty much any computer can probably handle that file and if I go back and then if I say you know what I prefer camera originals that icon is gone it's not there anymore okay and now if I play through this clip again you can see right away how choppy and how much it bogs down the system but I by default prefer proxies is on and I can even go full speed full screen and it plays everything back normally so that is a proxy workflow so that's something to think about if you ever have footage that's you know really stressing out your system and bogging it down get the proxy generator create your project drop your clips in there and then there you go and resolve is smart enough to know that when you export when you do an export say even from here or you know let's say even if you're in the deliver page it'll know to use the full quality file so that you have a you know great quality export so that's the proxy generator hopefully it helps you out hopefully it makes you edit a little bit better a little bit smoother and so yeah i hope that was helpful